I have been struggling with anxiety and depression, panic attacks, a phobia since high school, and I'm now 24 years old. I'm in my third year of university, and I have moved back home after living in my university town for four or five years. I've moved back to my hometown, and I'm doing school online. But the downside of that is that I'm now back in the place that so many years ago took so much of my strength and courage to push myself to get away from, right? To live on my own. I was living in Guelph. I was a couple hours away from my hometown and went through a lot of panic attacks and anxiety in the process of moving my comfort zone out of just the small town that I grew up in. But I got through it and I did expand my comfort zone and I, I got comfortable living in Guelph. However, I have now moved back home and I've realized and I've noticed that my comfort zone is shrinking rapidly because I'm now back in that safe space. So I'm going to do a whole video on this later, but that's just something that I've realized. I'm going to talk about it more in the future, but just something that I've been noticing more and more that I was afraid of when I first moved back here. It really is happening rapidly and I am trying to figure out a way to combat it. I've been looking at improving my diet a lot because I'm not eating enough fruits or vegetables and that's a huge part of my mental health. It's a huge part of all of our mental health is our, our diet and how well we're eating. This may not work for you, but I figured I'd share it because uh, it may not work for everyone, but it might work for some of you. The way that my brain works is that I get interested in things by learning about them. And I don't know if that's a weird way to put it or if that even makes sense, but if I want to become interested in a topic, I will learn about it. And learning about it and becoming a bit more educated about different aspects of a certain topic will actually make me more passionate about it. So Jordan and I were in the mall last week and I was in the same place that I am anytime I'm in the mall is the bookstore. I was just looking at the books, reading the books, adding new books to my book list. Said book a lot there, I apologize. I was in the mental health section, but the mental health section was actually right beside the nutrition section and the physical health section. I started looking at some of these books on nutrition and it really intrigued me. And so I bought one, it's called The Science of Nutrition. I'll link it in the description because I don't have it in front of me. It's it's. A physical book so it's not on my computer. I started reading it and it's actually got me very interested in healthy eating now and the different aspects of nutrition and different healthy foods and fruits and vegetables and the way that they impact our bodies and our minds. And so if you want to improve an area of your life or your mental health and know that being passionate or being interested in that area would help a lot, but you feel like you're not, maybe read a book about it or watch a documentary about it or a movie that's based on a true story about it. Like if, for example, if you want to learn more about meditation, you could always read a book about great philosophers or great meditation experts throughout history or you could watch a documentary on it and how it improves and impacts our lives and specifically our mental health hope you had a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye